60 to 10. All right, 0.54, that's not bad. The 10 miles an hour, all right. Today we're gonna to talk about burnishing your brakes and the brakes happen to be carbon ceramic brakes. If you have them on your E-ray, which you do, I mean, they all come with, all the E-rays come with carbon ceramic brakes. But if you happen to have them on your Z06, it'll work for you here too. Now, the first thing is the owner's manual. And I think you probably already know that the owner's manual is online. So you can download it and uh, peruse it, print out pages you want. I got a couple of pages printed here so that I can tell you about uh, what's going on about uh, brake burnishing. And, uh, and first of all, I just I wanted to just spend a, a moment here talking about the starting and operating and the new vehicle break-in period. If you have a brand new E-Ray or Z06, then uh, I think you ought to understand that um, the break-in period is 1,500 miles. They suggest to you that you do not participate in any track events or sport driving schools or similar activities until you've reached 1,500 miles, because a lot of things have to break in. And you can read about it in the manual. I'm not going to get into uh, a long story about that. But just be aware that it's 1,500 miles, it's not 500 miles. And especially, you don't want to be doing any track events uh, unless you've put 1,500 miles in the car. So anyway, the first thing you want to do is get your brakes all squared away. In the owner's manual, they talk about, about brake burnishing for E-Ray models and, of course, the old sixes that have carbon ceramic brakes, too. And uh, the first thing, and the E-Ray in particular, they want to tell you to make sure you hit the little charger button so that you get the battery level up on the driver's display uh, at fully charged, it's a full charge, which will minimize um, regenerative braking. And so, but I, I, you know, I suppose you could brake them any other way, any way you want, but I would say follow these directions. Um, there's a friction bubble on the uh, driver's gauge and I'll show it to you today. And it will show you uh, you, they want you to get about um, half a G, which is 0.5. It's going to be two decimal places, so it might be 55, it might be 45, 48, 49, 47, whatever. Anyway, um, and the idea is to go out and for 15 times, you're going to go from 60 to 10. So from 15 times, you're going to go from 60 miles an hour all the way down to 10 miles an hour. And breaking it no more than um, 0.5 or 0 0.50 on your gauge that I'll show you in just a minute. And stay within that as close as you can within it. You have to be perfect, but to stay close to uh, where that, uh, where that uh, gauge shows you. And I, like I say, I'm going to show it to you in just a second. So we're going to go from 60 to 10 miles an hour. Then... You're going to drive for at least two tenths of a mile between brake applications. I'd even go a little bit more, maybe three tenths of a mile, but I, you know, two tenths, three tenths. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take, a, take the E-Ray out here and we're going to burnish the brakes. And I think uh, I, I read somewhere else, uh, I think I, you know, somebody made a comment. They said, oh, you know, my brakes don't feel that great. And maybe the reason is because you haven't burnished them yet, and maybe this brake burnishing will be fine. Now, if you're gonna go and do track events or anything like that, as I mentioned earlier, make sure that you break, you do the follow the brake burnishing procedure for track events or for um, something like an auto, well, I don't know if the autocross, you could probably get away with just what you've done, burnish right here. But for, um, for track events, uh, make sure you, you follow the burnishing procedure for track events. And you should have at least 1,500 miles in your car before you do it. So, okay, let's, let's go and I'll show you how that little uh, indicator that shows you the G-force. On the E-Ray display, it looks something like this when you get ready to start the car up. Um, and 
over on the right hand side uh, a lot of the things that uh, work on the right hand side are controlled here so what you want to do is you want to go to performance get to your performance i can scroll this up and down launch control oh there it is <laughs> once you get to performance timer then just take the scroll wheel. This is a scroll wheel that goes up and down. And you can roll, scroll it up or scroll it down. And you want to get to this one right here. This is a performance. And it's going to show you the G-forces. You're either pulling or pushing or going left or going right. It's kind of, kind of cool. This is all you need to do your uh, brake burnishing. Just follow the numbers up here. And if you see that, it's a... 0.00, .00. you want that 0.00, .00 to be as close to 0 0.50 as you can get. All right, so let's go. All right, we're moving. And as you can see, uh, in that performance meter, the, oh, there's about three hundredths, one one hundredth. So, so let, me, uh, let me put on the brake and I'll show you what happens. See that top one? That top number went down to 0 0.30. That's just touching the brakes. You want to get to 0 0.50. So what I'm going to show you is what you should do. And you're going to have to do this 15 times. And if you, if you still don't like the feel of your brake, do it a few more times. Another 10 times if you want. You know, do whatever it takes. These brakes in normal driving, street driving, will probably last you a hundred thousand miles. So to make one brake burnishing pass, <laughs> what you want to do is this. You want to get around 60 miles an hour and then you don't have to be right on 60, but I would say close as you can get. Go to 60 miles an hour and uh, then we'll take it down to uh, yeah, let's move the brake burnishing right here. Now I'm going to try to put it as close to five as I can. That's pretty close. Let me do that again. All right, 60 miles an hour. Then brake burnishing. See that? Right about, well, I got it about 54. That's good. So um, that's about where you want to be. And that works fine. And then you should drive about two tenths of a mile, or a little more than two tenths of a mile, and uh, get the uh, let the brakes cool off. All right. So there you have it. That's brake burnishing 101. And uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed the ride uh, today, and you enjoyed the. Uh, little uh, ride in the in the array I did it 15 times I actually did it 16 because I did one for you there so um there you have it that's all you have to do 15 times and your brakes should be good as gold I always like to tap the brakes before I go out on a ride anywhere so you might even think about doing that too uh just give it a little tap before you like you're backing out of the driveway or something whatever you're doing and that works too so